morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us acknowledge God's presence, and let us acknowledge our own sinfulness. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, grant your people constancy in faith and hope that we may never doubt the promises of which we have learned from you. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, some Jews from Antioch and Iconium arrived and won over the crowds. They stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples gathered around him, he got up and entered the city. On the following day, he left with Barnabas for the derby. After they had proclaimed the good news to that city and made a considerable number of disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to persevere in the faith, saying, It is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. They appointed presbyters for them in each church, and with prayer and fasting, commended them to the Lord in whom they had, put, they had put their faith. Then they traveled through Pisidia and reached Pampilia. After proclaiming the word of per at Perga, they went down to Atalia. From there, they, sail they sailed to Antioch, where they have been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now accomplished. And when they arrived, 
they called the church together and reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. Then they spent no little time with the disciples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your mice. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. May my mouth speak the praise of the Lord, and may all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Please stand. Christ had to suffer and to rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you, I am going away, and I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. I will no longer speak much with you, for the ruler of the world is coming. He has no power over me, but the world must know that I love the Father and that I do just as the Father has commanded me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. This gospel is taken from the 14th chapter of St. John's. But my dear sisters and brothers, if you read back to chapter 13, Jesus, according to St. John, was also troubled. The Lord was troubled because he knew what's going to happen. It was the Last Supper. He knew that someone among his disciples would betray him. He knew that someone among his friends would deny him. He was also troubled. But in spite of his 
personal trouble, Jesus was encouraging others, encouraging his disciples, do not let your hearts be troubled. What do I see here? I see here a person who has his own problem, who has his own fear, and yet does not forget others who are also in trouble. There is always that danger you know, to think only of our own pain, to think only of our suffering, forgetting that there are others who are painful and are suffering as well. Kung misan po, dahil sa bigat ng problema natin, nakakalimutan natin na meron din palang mga ibang taong may problema. Si Jesus may pinagdaraanan din, may pangamba din, pero hindi niya nakalimutang bigyan ng lakas ng loob ang kanyang mga alagad. I remember seeing something like this, a slogan, I have been complaining that I don't have shoes until I saw, I saw someone who does not have feet. I have been complaining that I do not have shoes until I saw someone who has no feet. Let us not just focus on our own pain and suffering. Let us also remember others who are suffering as well. In the gospel, Jesus said, Peace I live with you. My peace I give to you. What is that peace that God, or our Lord, is giving? Ano yung kapayapaang yun na ipinangakong ibibigay sa atin ng Panginoon? Ang kapayapaang iyon ay nagmumula sa katotohanan na iniisip mo hindi lamang ang iyong sarili kundi ang ibang tao. Peace comes to a person who thinks less of himself and more of others. Kapag sarili lang ang iniisip, hindi pa natag ang loob. Pag iniisip ang ibang tao, may tunay na kapayapaan. Amen. Please stand. Our risen Lord's greatest gift to us is the peace which the world cannot give. In His name, let us ask the Father for all our needs as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church may strive to bring people everywhere in mutual understanding, cooperation, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that peoples of all nations may work for justice and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are troubled, afraid, and anxious may find true peace and happiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That peace and love may reign in our homes and workplaces. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. That the dead may enjoy eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, grant us the peace we need. Help us to focus not only on our own problems, but on the pains and sufferings of others. Help us to make peace with ourselves, with our neighbors, and most especially with our enemies. 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priests, the altar, and the lamp of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Amen.